Hey, Psych2Goers, we hope you're doing well and finding time for self-care. Now, let's begin. Do you go through life and feel a lingering sadness that never seems to improve? You're not alone. Depression is a complicated condition and affects you in different ways than you may think. So with that said, here are six signs that you are subconsciously depressed. Please note, the information in this video is not intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. All content contained in this video is for general information purposes only and does not replace a consultation with your own doctor or mental health professional. Let's begin. Number one, you always feel tired. When you wake up, are you finding yourself feeling drained? Does this feeling seem to last no matter how much sleep you get? Depression comes with a number of physical effects that are often passed off as something else. Constant exhaustion is a common physical side effect. Even if you sleep a good number of hours each night, you can never seem to catch enough rest. This makes it hard to function during the day. Number two, you're easily irritated and angered. Does it seem like everyone gets on your nerves? Even if these people are well-meaning, you can't help but wish they'd go away. It's not uncommon for depressed people to foster negative thoughts and feelings about the people around them. While we all have those days where we prefer to keep away from others, if you're noticing that you're pushing people away more than normal, or if a friend is withdrawing from others, it can be a sign of something more. Number three, you have a hard time with emotions. How do you feel right now? Are you able to describe which emotions you're experiencing? Do you often have periods of time where you can't? Psychiatrist Peter Sifnios coined the term alexithymia as being unable to describe how you feel. For example, while you may notice that your heart is racing, a normal person would be able to tell if they're excited or nervous easily. On the other hand, a person with alexithymia wouldn't be able to distinguish if it was fear or excitement causing it. Not knowing your emotions makes it extremely difficult to know where to begin in tackling them. Number four, you don't eat or you eat too much. Have you developed different eating habits? Do you find yourself forgetting to eat or are you unable to stop eating? You may develop chaotic eating habits as a way to cope with how you're feeling. Overeating may be your only source of pleasure, causing you to lose sight of your physical health. On the other hand, you may lose interest in food and end up missing meals. Different stressors in your life can throw off your sense of balance, which can also affect your eating habits. Number five, others don't think you look like a depressed person. Has anyone ever told you that you don't seem depressed? You or they may be accustomed to the media's portrayal of what a depressed person looks like. Someone who never leaves their room, doesn't dress well, and always has a miserable look. While those are clear signs of the condition, depression doesn't always appear that way. According to psychotherapist Jody Amon, depression affects all personalities and can look very different from person to person. People with depression can suffer in silence too. These are people that can perform tasks towards their goals and do their day-to-day -day tasks, but still have lost their spark. And number six, you find it hard to put a smile on your face, but you still do. Do you try to mask yourself as a happy person, even if you don't feel that way deep inside? Many people who experience depression conceal it behind a smile. Depression can be quiet on the outside, but extremely painful inside for some, while others display their symptoms more outwardly. Having an honest conversation with a mental health professional or someone you trust should be a top priority. Even if you worry about burdening others, appearing weak or feeling vulnerable, confronting and processing your emotions with others is a great first step to recovery. It's difficult to deal with depression alone. You may be struggling now, but there's a world out there of people cheering you on. Confide with someone you trust and talk to a trusted professional to get the help you need. Be sure to like this video and share it with anyone you feel will benefit from it. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and turn notifications on to keep up with our uploads. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Take care.